Hello everyone, my name is Rahul and welcome to my channel Rahul QA Labs. So in today's tutorial, we uh, will be seeing an introduction to uh, JUnit framework. So uh, let's start uh, with uh, what is unit testing. So unit testing is a small piece of code testing as per the given input and analyzing the output. So this is called what is uh, a unit testing. So when you're testing a particular part of a code or uh, you know a small logic so that is what we call as unit testing so uh, for unit testing the specific inputs are given to test the logic and the corresponding output is seen if it is as expected or not okay so uh, unit testing does not depend on any other testing they are independent and basically it's done by the developers to test their current logic or code and it checks if it impact the other modules as well or not uh, it is not recommended to do unit testing for complex and large modules and uh, unit testing can be done for just a class or a function or a piece of code. Okay, so let us see some different uh, unit testing frameworks that is used by developers to test their code. Okay, so uh, these are some uh, Java unit testing tools that we have. Uh, NUnit, JUnit, TestNG, HTML unit. Okay, so uh, in today's uh, slides, we will see uh, a small introduction on JUnit. So let us see some important points about JUnit. <clears throat> okay, so JUnit is an open source testing framework that is uh, widely used for executing the test cases and the developers writes and execute the test cases in Java. The latest version of JUnit as of now is JUnit 5. So uh, it is the most popular unit testing framework that we have and it provides the list comprising of different annotations which helps to execute the test cases. Uh, there are several uh, assertions that helps to verify the results as expected as per the inputs and uh, test runner is provided by JUnit to execute the tests. So uh, whenever you are executing uh, a JUnit test, if the test is a success, you will see it in green color. Otherwise, it will show you uh, uh, the message in. Uh, the red color and you can see the respected error as well uh, It provides the clear reporting capabilities which is of great help to the developers and uh, Simple test cases can be written within seconds as per the templates provided Okay, so uh, going to the next slide. So yeah, this is a small example of uh, JUnit test case. So uh, from the first uh, picture, we can see that a class max number is written uh, with a function uh, having two input parameters that is a and b where uh, it is finding the maximum of two numbers. Okay, uh, on the below picture, uh, you can see uh, the J unit uh, example class that we have written where we have defined uh, at the test. The method is called test max and we have used the function uh, assert equals so three conditions we have used here or we can say you can say the three uh, cases uh, in the first case we have given two and uh, we are sending the input sets one comma two so obviously two is a maximum number so your test case will pass similarly uh, the next one we have is three uh, max is three comma one so max number is three again it will be a pass and the third one is five so max number it has returned as five because both are equal so this is a small unit a small example of a JUnit test case and in the coming slides we will see how uh, to install JUnit or the java uh, jar files in the eclipse and uh, from there on we will continue with the next uh, set of tutorials on uh, several JUnit topics so Thank you everyone for watching my video. If you like the video, do subscribe my channel for more such content. And if you have any doubts, do put out a comment and I'll be happy to help you. Thank you. Bye-bye.